know, Zach, I want to get a dog right now. And uh, how about what's the length of training to get there? You said six months to get a pretty advanced, uh, pretty advanced dog or. So or... to get to the start of the level, first, we have to get through that fun puppy stage. <laughs> I roll my eyes as I say that for the listeners. <laughs> Eight weeks to 20 weeks is, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind if I had one puppy and that's all I did, but <laughs> we actually actively are looking for puppy racers to raise puppies for us from eight weeks to 20 weeks. At five months, I start training. It's a three-month training program to get to the start level, to get to where we can go into public and the dog's acting well. After those three months, then it's eight to 12 weeks of uh scent training so within six months i can have you start a dog from the time i start so that start rate at five months at 11 months of age i can have you start a dog um going to fully train you know we're looking at nine to eight you know nine to 18 months depending on the dog and depending on the specific skills that we're teaching what makes that unique is your hobbies. So, yeah. so let's use an example. Somebody okay. calls me up and they white water raft kayak. Okay. What am I going to do with the dog while you go down that river? Yeah. Uh, leave him. Nope. He's going with you. So I have to go. Uh, I don't kayak, but I'm a dog trainer. So yeah. I would go buy a kayak. If somebody called and said, Hey, I white water raft quite frequently i'd say okay wow. great guess i'll go learn that um yes. <laughs> train wow. the dog on the kayak obviously the mississippi's right here i'm not going on the mississippi in a kayak but the kaskaskia is on the illinois side and i've been on the kaskaskia with a kayak i'll get her on a kayak and kayak down the river with that dog and then we'll upscale that uh now i don't know how you what you call, you know, various degrees of white water, but I'll find the roughest white water in Southern Illinois I can and go down that. And that's where hobby specific, also uh, Dr. Grady and you shooting, um, introduction to gun is a whole process. So I would, I would teach the dog to be okay around gunfire without reacting to it and still focus on you. So that's where for those fully trained dogs, it's not necessarily, oh, I gave a vague answer of nine to 18 months, but being a fully trained dog for di Dr. Garrett, where it's boring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fair. That's fair though. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and no offense to you, but I mean, I, mean, I live in Wisconsin. Honest, I just drink beer. That's that's what the hobby is. Okay. Oh, so now see, now that's difficult. Do you drink beer in a bar or do you drink beer in a brewery? <laughs> it matters. If 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 I were were, it would be more likely a bar than a brewery, especially with COVID going on. But uh but okay, bar. so so if if you go into a bar and it depends on the bar, but if you you have small town yeah. bars, yeah, you know, but there might be a bar are... fight that night. Or yeah. there's a loud band that night, or yeah. you know, there's a yeah. wedding or a party bus. So now I got to put that dog in a large crowd, where the dog's prepared to deal with those stresses. Yeah. Um. And so breweries are completely different too. You know, the yeast smell and breweries and the hops and everything, the malt that goes into it, completely different smell. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> That's what my steady <laughs> smells like. <laughs> so uh, um anyway. so if you guys think about that way though you know you could see really quickly how it varies dog to dog and what a fully trained dog for you versus what a fully trained dog for me looks like is totally different mm -hmm. um so obviously I try to prepare each dog for anything that might come up randomly like a white water rafting trip mm -hmm. um but a I wedding can judge or, yeah a, yeah absolutely a wedding or uh court mm -hmm. um you know the dogs have to be prepared to go through normal day life but then if you have some off the wall hobby which i'm finding diabetics too yeah uh mm.